How long have you been living in Durham? Going on 23 years. Most of 42 years. Um, 14 years, my whole life. Uh, it was easier. It was less complicated. It had a pretty large population of black families that lived here. There's definitely a lot more different types of culture in different parts of the town. Well, it's changed for the better. Um, it was a lot more run down when I moved here. The biggest change is like the culture. There's a lot more culture than there used to be. Huh, it's become more diverse. It has less in your face racism than it used to. But now people are more conscious and are trying to be better community oriented so that encompasses all the cultures. My favorite thing about Durham is how you can go to a different place and see all different types of people. That I have access to the mountains and to the beach, that people from all over the world come here to work at Duke. It brings in more diversity and people are learning that they don't have to just stick to the campus or stick to where they work. Eat. <laughs> um, I think the people of Durham, there's a lot of like hipsters and people who love like just like music and stuff like. We have great little pockets of different groups of people. Durham is a very real place compared to many of the places I lived. You get a false sense of what the world is like when you live in these little bubble communities where there's not a lot of racial diversity or economic diversity. And immediately when I moved to Durham, I saw that. You can definitely like be downtown and see some like rich people and then you can walk 10 feet and see just like terrible neighborhoods. Of course, yeah, big income gap. Yeah. It surprised me we were working on um, developing a park. There were people who were really against it in the surrounding neighborhood. They were afraid that this rich kids school was going to take over the park and it wasn't going to be usable by the the people from the city anymore. Yeah, there's a large income gap in Durham. There's still a lack of opportunity for growth and education in working class people. Yeah, I feel like that because I feel like there's a lot of different types of just places where it's like a lot of white people go to places and then a lot of like black people are like just everyone goes kind of like separate places to do different things I guess. There is segregation I encountered it um, when I was president of my neighborhood association and we were trying to close a bridge that um, spanned our neighborhood with the neighboring St. Teresa neighborhood and um, we thought that you know this bridge wasn't needed anymore because it was built over the train tracks back when um, the trains were running tobacco out of American tobacco. But there was a section of Durham who felt like that was racist, like we were trying to keep the black people out of Forest Hills. Sometimes I get a little scared when when a black person or a Latino will walk by me in the tobacco trail just because of all the history that's happened. There's no one way to describe why that still exists. It's not all right, racism. Some of it is cultural. I think we could definitely mix people together a little more and like just help different people be more okay with being so together. We have to focus on individuals, not groups of people. And we have to really practice the things that we believe in. Obviously, poverty is a big problem. It's so big that I want to say it's not solvable. If you remove the assumption that we're going to stay a capitalistic society, then I do believe that there is a better system out there. Nobody has discovered it yet. So I do not claim to have any perfect solutions. I do see the problems and I do see which way I would like to see them move in, but uh, I also understand the vast complexity um, that it takes to, to change it.